Good morning, y'all. Welcome to another vlog or welcome to another snippet in my life or whatever. It is Monday. It's 11.35 in the a.m., y'all. Last night and this morning was such a struggle. Like last night or yesterday evening for job A, we had a staff meeting at this uh, restaurant or whatever. And I got food poisoning, y'all. Like, ugh. I haven't had food poisoning in so long. I just feel so like hollow and like empty inside. I'm feeling better than I was last night and even this morning, but it's just like, I just feel so drained. And at the staff meeting, like I got, you know, our meals are like pre-picked. So you pick from like a menu or whatever. So I got salmon and it had like a creamy sauce with like crab on top. I had broccoli and potatoes and like maybe two glasses of wine and then the dessert options I got the cheesecake but I didn't eat the cheesecake till I got home and it was after I ate that cheesecake that I knew something was wrong but I don't know what I mean I don't know if it was the cheesecake I'm blaming it on the cheesecake since that was the last thing I ate, but it could have very well been the salmon. I don't know, child. I don't know if anybody else got sick. But my stomach is weird anyway. <laughs> but y'all, I haven't had food poisoning in years, okay? In years. But like I said, I am feeling better. Like I'm not running to the bathroom. That's probably, that's TMI, I know. But I'm not running to the bathroom like I was all night in this morning. I managed to eat something bland and it seems to be doing okay. I really want some coffee, so I think I'm gonna try to I think I'm gonna try to make some coffee. I'm trying to like get myself back together. I have a wax appointment at two. <laughs> but whether I'm feeling better or not, I think I'm just gonna muster through that wax appointment because y'all know like I don't you know you start missing you start getting too far out of those waxes. It hurt. I mean, it hurt regardless. But for me, if I start getting too far out from those waxes, they hurt. So I think I'm going to just try to muster up strength to get a wax. And hopefully I just start feeling better throughout the day. Because I want to go to the gym today too. Because it's leg day. But I probably just need to sit down all together. But I still feel so like hollow inside. But anyway. <laughs> Hello, y'all. Welcome to another vlog. I'm going to try to slowly but surely like get my life back together. And today I was supposed to go to job B, my ortho clinic. Y'all know when I go on Mondays, I go from 8 to 12. Child, I had to text my doc at 6 o'clock this morning. I was actually on the toilet when I texted him. It just wasn't looking good for the kid, you know. <laughs> it wasn't looking good for the kid. I would still be there now, actually. It's 1138, so I would still be there now. But hopefully they had a good day in um, clinic. I felt so bad because I wanted to go, you know. But child, um, food poisoning. <sighs> I don't wish that on anybody. The last time I had food poisoning, it was real bad. Like, it was real, real bad. This time wasn't as bad. I mean, it was bad. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as last time. Last time I was sick for a few days. And this looked like it's just going to be like... Maybe one day. Mm -mm. Anyway, I just wanted to vlog, I guess. <laughs> so I picked up this camera looking a mess. But hello, y'all. I'll um come back once. Hopefully, I'm feeling... I just feel so hollow on the inside. <laughs> but I'm going to that wax appointment. That wax appointment at 2 o'clock. So my body got a little over two hours to... To get it together because we're going to that wax appointment. But anyway, I think I'm going to try to make some coffee. That may not be a good idea, but I'm going to try to make some. But anyway, I'll keep y'all updated on this food poisoning situation, okay? Until then, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye. So far, so good. I still feel hollow in the inside, but I think my coffee is, I don't even know. <laughs> but I think so far, so good, y'all. So far, so good. Okay, 
I am still in the bed watching Criminal Minds. I haven't even opened my blind, y'all. <laughs> y'all, girl, I haven't even opened her blind, but I think the coffee is doing okay. The bland, the bland food stayed down. That's what my mama told me to do. Even though I'm a whole nurse practitioner, it's like I can't take care of myself when I get sick. I still have to call my mama <laughs> and ask her what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> And it's so funny because all last week, I know I had a good handful of people that came in with food poisoning. And it's like, it just got to run its course, you know? And then I get food co food poisoning and I'm calling my mom. Like, I text my mom at 3 o'clock this morning like, your girl is sick. Like, send help. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so my bland diet, that bland. Anyway, the food stayed down. And that was a few hours ago. And then now I'm having this coffee. I'm not gonna push it after this coffee. I think I'm after this coffee. I'ma just, I'ma just chill and see what happens for another, for another few hours. But I just wanted to give an update that my coffee is, my coffee is doing okay for now. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. All right, y'all. I mustered up enough strength to get out to bed. Get get. Wait, I can't even talk. I muster up enough strength to get out of the bed so we can go get this wax. I'm guessing it's around 1.30. I don't know. I just threw on some Nike sweat shorts, a black crop top, and some Crocs. I think it's like 84 degrees outside. Like, today is not my day. <laughs> on top of having food poisoning, I am cramping like nobody's business. Like, I can't believe I'm cramping like this. And I was afraid to take something because I didn't want to put nothing on my stomach. But I took a 800 ibuprofen and child, it's not, it's not doing anything for me. So hopefully these cramps die down by the time I make it to the wax place. Where's my phone? I don't even know what time is it. The wax place isn't far though, y'all. Here you go. It's currently 128. So... Let me change the battery on this camera because it's actually dying and I'll see y'all when I get to the car. So until then, see you when I see you. Bye. We made it to the car, y'all. The wax place is literally like, it's not even 10 minutes from me. So we're actually gonna be a little bit early, but that's okay. I'll just sit in the car until exactly two o'clock, okay? I'm gonna sit in this car till exactly two o'clock. But anyway, let's, um, let's get on the road. <laughs> all right y'all we made it <laughs> it's 144 like i said i don't have to be in there until two o'clock i dread these waxes y'all they just never get easy <laughs> they never get easier but like i was saying earlier like it's better for me if i don't wait too long in between waxes is this her car she's about to see me talking to myself because she's about to get in this car next to me unless she's not <laughs> um if i wait too long in between waxes it's just it's worse it hurt every single time but that's my own little like flow you know i can't wait too long in between these waxes because it's gonna hurt worse but anyway um we're gonna get this wax and the european wax place where i go there's a tj maxx and the marshall's home goods next to it I'm going to try to run in Marshall's Home Goods. I don't really like TJ Maxx. Do y'all like TJ Maxx or do y'all like Marshall's Home Goods? Because I don't really like TJ Maxx. I don't like any store that I have to like shift through clothes. So like when I go to Marshall's Home Goods, I don't really look at clothes either. <laughs> I just go for like the beauty stuff, you know. But with that being said, I like Marshall's Home Goods better. But anyway, I'm going to go in there because I need some more under eye cream. 
I like the vitamin C under eye cream by Origins, but you know that little bitty jar is like 30 something dollars, you know? And the last time I got it, I got it out of Marshall's Home Goods for like half the price. So I'm gonna see if they have some more because I refused to buy it when I went in Ulta just because it's like 30 something dollars, almost like $40 for that little bitty, little bitty jar. But anyway, since I'm over here, I think I'm gonna go, go in there once the wax is over. And then I'm gonna just go back home and go get back in the bed. I am not gonna go to the gym, y'all. <laughs> Even though I want to, I'm not gonna do it. It's like, I don't know how to be sick you know what i'm saying because as an adult it's hard to it's hard to be sick because you got stuff you got to do you know what i mean like you can't just lounge around in the bed and i'll be telling my patients that all the time like you'll feel so much better if you actually like when you're sick take some time off and rest you know so i guess i gotta practice what i preach because i've still been trying to move today like i'm a hundred percent and i am not so i'm not gonna go to the gym i am gonna run in this marshall's home good stuff <laughs> because it's right here let me show y'all so that's the tj maxx which i don't like and then that's the marshall's home goods there so i'll run in there real Ooh. let's zoom that back out <laughs> so i'll run in there um I'll run in there real quick when I'm finished with this wax. But anyway, y'all, time check is 147. I'm literally just about to sit here and listen to music until I walk in there at 159. <laughs> so I'll see y'all once I'm done. Until then, see you when I see you. Bye. All right, I'm back in the car, y'all. Time check is 2.36. The wax is done. I went in both Marshall's Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Marshall's Home Goods beauty section is like my favorite, okay? It's like my favorite. You can always find good finds in that beauty section. I love my, my Marshall's Home Goods, the one that's by my house because of that. And it looked like... I think I recorded it. It looked like it had been ransacked. Like, first of all, they moved the beauty section to another part of the store. And it just looked like they had no effort in, like, putting it back together. So, I didn't find anything in there. And then I went into TJ Maxx. And I didn't find anything in there either. I used the Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel. So, I always can find it cheap in TJ Maxx. And they had, like four bottles so I was gonna get two I actually picked them up and was walking towards the the front and I just couldn't do it y'all I end up putting that witch hazel back and now I'm in the car I mean I have two bottles at home anyway from when I came here last time but I'm just not in the mood so and I really want to try to eat like I still feel so hollow but like I'm hungry you know what I mean so I still want to try to try to eat but I, I just couldn't do it so I'm back in the car and I'm about to make my way back to the house so I'll see y'all when I see y'all bye y'all I am literally <laughs> just sitting in the car in my garage I have probably been sitting here in silence texting probably for 10 minutes maybe not maybe yeah for probably about 10 minutes I think I'm gonna just go ahead and end the vlog here like I don't feel like going back upstairs I think I'm gonna just end the vlog here um things that I'm doing for the rest of the day I'm gonna pay some bills I need to order groceries for pickup so I'll probably just order them now and then schedule a pickup for sometime tomorrow maybe tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon and I am so hungry I think I honestly think the worst of this food poisoning is over because I haven't been like in the bathroom and I managed to like leave my house and not have to run to the bathroom while I was out so i think i'm just gonna fix me something to eat i'm really craving like bread <laughs> and i got this 
bread from Trader Joe's. Oh, maybe I will show y'all. I'm going to show y'all this bread that I got from Trader Joe's. And you put it in the oven. And I like to eat it with like some olive oil and vinegar like you would in a restaurant. I don't know the name of it, but I'm a, I won't end it. I'm going to show y'all that bread first because I'm talking about it and I want y'all to see it. And that's all I'm doing for the rest of the day, y'all. Like... That's it. I already text my trainer that I want coming today that I'll be there tomorrow. And I'm just about to get back in the bed because that's all that I can. That's all that I can muster up. So I was about to end this vlog until I, until I started talking about that bread. So uh, y'all might as well come with me. Let me show y'all. I want to show y'all this bread. So it's because of y'all I'm getting out the car because if it wasn't for y'all, I'll still be sitting in that car texting and contemplating life. <laughs> Let me show y'all this bread. Hold on. Okay, let me show y'all this bread real quick. And then I'll officially end this vlog. So this is the bread, y'all. And I get it from Trader Joe's. And then I just stick it in the oven. And then once it come out the oven, I just slice it up like breadsticks. And then like a little small bowl, I do some olive oil and some vinegar, like at the Italian restaurants or any kind of restaurant. And then I just eat it like that. And I am so out of breath from coming up them steps. I made my stuff take the steps since I ain't going to the gym. But, um, I mean, I take the steps anyway, so I guess that's not a good reason for saying that. And then I may make a salad, like just a plain size salad on the side. Or maybe I won't because I don't even think I got spinach. I got arugula, but I don't think I have spinach because I haven't, <laughs> I haven't made a grocery list. But anyway, thank y'all for keeping me company during my sickness. I greatly appreciate y'all. I know my energy was like in the toilet this whole video, but I'm glad I still was able to record. And I thank y'all for, like I said, keeping me company during my sickness. I think I'm on the tail end of it. I think if I can eat this and actually like keep it down and get my strength back, I'll feel okay. So I think I'm on the tail end of, tail end of this, but Thank y'all so much for watching today's snippet. I hope you guys like the video. Like always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And come on, say it with me. Because if you know, you know. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye.